So all the things where we talked before about going into these fearful places. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad idea, you know, like, you know, like if, if some of you are interested, that might not a bad idea to go to some of the haunted places. You know, if, if you, I mean, if you don't like it, of course you don't have to go. But definitely encouraged. Because if you have that sense of feeling, so you feel like a experiment, you know. So when you go there, it will be much better than double espresso. <laughs> it will be much better than going to the gym. It may be, maybe I don't know if any better than even doing salon practice. It will keep you alert a week. And and I don't know when the, then the, maybe especially when the drum is not working, the bell is not working, and you are afraid now. <laughs> There's a story about one chupa that uh, he went in the cemetery in the in the in the mountain where the sky burial place. So he he was this lama was. His close his eyes, and then he's just so much intellect, just imagination about all the demons and coming and doing the practice. And but he's closed eyes, and then some of the village pilgrim people just walking around there, and they saw oh, that the lama is doing the chur practice. They didn't want to disturb those, so they sneak in slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so they're sneaking in there, and then they touch their head to the I say the knee. Um, and then, like that, and then this, now I did not expect any any physical touch from anywhere, right? His imagination of all the demons in the garden. <laughs> Moment you touch like that, <laughs> <laughs> the drum and the bell, everything <laughs> loose from the hand, and it's scared that this these people completely and and the sh feeling shame himself, and they scared the people. I don't know what happened with all the ghosts. So it's like a, it's like that, you know. It's just, so it, it's sometimes it's a good to good to go and some exper experiment like that, you know. Uh, and haunt, yeah. The cemetery, cemetery. It's probably easier to go, right? If you, if somebody is doing chew practice in a cemetery, if, is it a problem? Or no? Depends, huh? Depends on what? <clears throat> okay. So I mean, there might be places you can go, right? Some cemetery. You know, the old place you can go. But it's not about you have to take the drum and bell and anything like that. You know, like uh, you can also, I mean, it's not an excuse not to learn the drum and bell. But if, if, if that feels a little bit more easy way to do it, then just go and sit, sit there for half an hour in the middle of the night. And then when you are sitting there in the middle of the night, in the middle of the cemetery, see how you feel. Right? Can you imagine what you will feel? And so, so what, what you feel, that is what you went there for. So, so you don't complain about that. That's what you went for. There. <laughs> <laughs> and you, that's what you work with. You work with that feeling. You just try to trace that. Who is afraid? So sometime in Tibetan, they say some lamas, they, they say as a, as a mean of introduction, they said they walk into the river. They didn't know how to swim, but the kind of very fast running water, they walk down slowly, slowly, not too fast, slowly, slowly. Water is coming up here. How do they go like this? How do they go like this? Like this. Each time when they feel like that, they just... And then they stop somewhere. They work with that. And then they come come out. 
right? Does that make sense? But also in, 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 in our everyday life, we, we, we have those experiences without going to the cemetery, right? And when you do have those experiences, but you don't think it's a practice because you did not, you did not intentionally invite it or go for it. It just came to you without inviting it. You get upset about it. But in principle, that, that when that happens, you get this, this, this is it. <coughs> Here I need to do work with it. The protection, <coughs> the protection of the wisdom, that's what the protection of the wisdom is. 